you all today i'm going to show you how you can turn a sublimation blank this phone wallet specifically into the printed version i'm going to go through every step so stick around and make sure you like comment and subscribe i really appreciate your support and if you leave a comment down below i'll make sure i reply to all of them all right let's jump into it this is one of my first like popular products i sold and i still sell them to this day they come in a little package like this. I order them in bulk um, from somebody on Alibaba, but they sell the same exact ones on Amazon where I got them for years and they're not a huge difference in price. So I will link those in the description of this video. So they come with the sublimation blank and then the adhesive is going to be put on after we sublimate on it. So the white part can be sublimated. If you're not sure what sublimation is, it's the process of turning sublimation ink into a gas and then it permanently dyes the substrate. I measured out this part. I've been doing this for so long that it's, I already have a, I just save a template for everything. This person was kind enough to say it was okay to use their image in a video. So before we put the image on here and tape it on, what I need to do is, I usually have scraps of sublimation paper or some kind of thicker paper and you want to put that inside of here because what's not going to get on that curve from this square will definitely dye the tan part. And then I just need to tape off the edges up here. And I like to use like brown heat tape. I found that the blue heat tape doing this, the ink still bled through. So I just line that up. Here is that side. And that side. So if you'll see, I curve the other one. So that way this whole entire part on the brown part on top is covered up somehow, some way. So that way we can put our image on there and I just line it up, looking on the both sides to make sure that it's gonna be covered. I personally have like a little bit of extra around the edges because that's how I like to do it. And then I always, this is just how I like to tape. I tape my heat tape here on top and then I put another piece on the bottom and I heat press this at 360 or 356 degrees Fahrenheit it doesn't really matter I just kind of round up uh, for about 45 seconds and I use HTV rot sublimation paper because all the ink will release off of here I've been using it for years I love it I love it let's go heat press this I do use a clamshell heat press I'll have it in the description of this video as well. It's the 15 by 15 fancier studio heat press. I bought it years ago and I have loved it. Like I said, it's at 360 degrees for 60 seconds. And I use, instead of butcher paper, I use packaging paper for the bottom because you don't want the ink to like get on your heat press. I also have a piece of Teflon down just to protect the heat mat underneath. So I'll put that down, put that on top, and it's just a medium pressure, not too firm and not too light. If it's too light, it's not gonna get the image all the way on there. And if it's too firm, then I found it kind of makes the faux vegan leather kind of wrinkly. So that's also why I choose this time and temperature. And because I use the HTV Rock sublimation paper, I don't put anything over top of it because the ink does not bleed through. So we're gonna press that for 45 seconds and then take this off. You can just tear it. And there's that. Let's put the adhesive on it. I'll show you an easy way to do that. As you can see, the ink came off the paper really nicely. Actually, let me show you. Here's the paper. And you can see like every drop pretty much of ink came off of the HC Brown sublimation paper. By the way, I like to wear black gloves whenever I'm doing sublimation so I don't smear the ink anywhere. So we have our little card holder, but we need to put the adhesive on. I like to make sure that the 3M part is facing outwards because sometimes customers don't realize there's adhesive on it, but they definitely recognize that if it says 3M, that's probably the adhesive. And I like to take it off with my little weeding tool. <laughs> it's just a mechanical pencil and I replace the lead with a quilting needle. And I just take that off 
and I just make sure that the adhesive part is going to be stuck on the 3M side and not the white side and then just line it up with the card holder just like that and press it on and now it's on there and they can peel it off and stick it on their phone so they can just put it on like like this and put a couple of cards in there and I always put it back in the package and going out if you want to learn more about sublimation go to learnsublimation.com or there's a link in my description for a free guide on some time and temperatures that I use most often and some other educational materials but hope you love this video make sure you like comment and subscribe